So, good afternoon, everybody. Um, this is Sarah Williams, brand ambassador for Horsemart. I just thought I'd start to introduce you to some of the horses. Um, and the first one is Ammo. This is my Hanoverian stallion. He is now eight years old. Just going to eat my paperwork. He is by um, Rascalino, grandsire Rotspon. Rose and Cavalier, World Cup, he's following me around. And he has on the dam side, Fantango. So he's really well bred. I've had him since he was a two year old. I just wanted to show you how we manage him. So this is his day quarters. I don't know whether you can see, he's in a very nice large barn. Um, and there he is, he's beautiful. Um, he comes in here during the day and lives in a stable of a night time. So he's got this area here, it's split up into three and he can run and roll and have a great lifestyle. We hand graze him and I tend to ride him probably two or three days a week. Maybe a little bit more, a couple of hacking sessions um, and the rest would be competing, showing and days off. Um, I'm going to switch off because I want to um, turn the camera around, but I just wanted you to see how we manage him during the day. Um, and he just absolutely loves it in here. He just really, really likes the fact that he can look out um, from the back of the barn and see the other horses. He's got another horse here, as you can see, up the end of the barn to keep him company. Um, we've always done this. Like I said, I've had him since he was a two-year-old and he has always been treated like one of the other horses, but he is a stallion um, and does display a lot of stallion um, tendencies. So you can see he is absolutely stunning um, and he's eight now. So I'm gonna switch the camera around. So hi again. So I'm gonna speak to you now more about what I've done with Ammo. Um, I told you earlier, I've had him since he was two. Um, he's now eight. So as a young horse, I did all the young horse classes with him. He did the sheer water class at Stoneley, um, came third in the final, actually did really, really well. I was so pleased with him. This was a, as a four year old. He then carried on and did all the other young horse classes at that time. Um, so he did the uh, Hickstead qualifiers, four, five and six year olds, um, and ended up sort of in the top three in the qualifiers and then came second in the final. So he did very, very well. Um, he, the, to be honest, the six year old class, I think pushes the horses a little bit too much because it's an advanced medium. Um, although the flying changes don't have to be done on the place, they are still in the test and I think it was a little bit too much for him. So at that stage, I then let him have some time off. He was quite tricky to, to break. Um, he, took a little bit of time before he stopped bucking me off, to be honest, or trying to buck me off. He didn't actually get me off, but he tried. Um, once he realised that he wasn't going to get me off, we actually are really good friends and we've grown up together. And I broke my back a couple of years ago and he was the first horse that I got on after I broke my back. I trust him that much. So after him doing all the young horse classes that Hicks did and doing all the international and national young horse classes and doing very well, I gave him a little bit of time off because I felt like the classes had pushed him a little bit too much. And he did really well for that break. He filled out, he relaxed more, um, and I, I was really chuffed that I did that. But I brought him back into work, and within about a month, I realised something wasn't right. I just couldn't keep him quite level. Um, we couldn't find out what was going on. It took a year to find out what had happened to him. And he had quarter cracks. Um, I don't know whether we can hone in on, if you go to the front of his knees, Lindy, you can see that he's not exactly straight. If I can get him to stand up a little bit. I'll just try and get his cannons in and his kneecaps. He's a little bit not kneed. That's probably a bit, you can see that. See yeah. how he ever so slightly turns his knees out. Mm. Um, so what he, he ended up with quarter cracks here and here. He puts a lot of pressure on the inside of his hoof. So it took a little while for, for the, actually the quarter cracks to, um, to break out. Um, 
we didn't notice it until they actually started bleeding. Um, and, and all I was feeling that he was just a little bit uncomfortable. He wasn't unlevel, but he just didn't feel quite right. So um, basically the farriers did an amazing job and just put patches on and supported him. You can get these little clips from America and you can actually pull the crack together with the clips. So we did that. And he had really probably a year and a half out because of that. Um, so subsequently, I just ticked him over and hacked him while the quarter cracks were healing, because you've got to let the hoof grow right down. Um, he's licensed, so in that time I got him licensed, so he's licensed to cover, I think it's 10 or 12 mares a year. Um, so gradually, as the horn grew down, I started to bring him on again. He started to feel much more confident. Um, and the farrier did an amazing job by taking the pressure off the inside of his hoof and straightening his as much as we can. Um, so he's now PSG at home. He's qualified for the regionals at medium, advanced medium, and I'm hoping I'm gonna get a wild card at elementary. He was a little bit cheeky and just missed out by a very small percent. Um, so fingers crossed we get that wild card. Um, if I just walk him around, maybe you can see he's got a no real nice lot of body now. He's quite a compact type. Um, I personally think he's probably your ideal shape for dressage um, because he's nice and short, so the hind legs aren't too far away from um, the front. He's got a really strong back. Um, if you can lift the camera up, you can see how broad his back is. Um, He's got a lovely, lovely super neck that's not upside down at all. Um, really nice head the way it's set on. Super slope in his shoulder. Um, his neck comes right out of the shoulder up through the pole. Um, he's really loose here, really loose here. So he can work over the back, you know, very, very happily, very easily. Um, you can see he's got a lovely rump. He's got that sort of slight uphill frame. Um, so finds finds the work not difficult. The trick with him is keeping his attention because obviously he's entire, and I do plan to use him, but not until he's competing at a higher level. At the moment, he's not competing at PSG. He's working um, at PSG at home with a bit of Piaf Passage. Um, the uh, Piaf is really easy. It's really nice, actually. It would be good in a Grand Prix. Uh, his Passage is, is needs to travel more and obviously he's got to get the tempies. Everything else is coming um, but he's come super sound and I don't want to push him too much. I want to just take it at his pace. He's only eight so um, I think he's nine this year so I've got plenty of time um, to get him up the levels and not overdo it with him. Um, he, he's To me it's very precious. Um, I, I got him by default. I do some business with some people in Germany and they very kindly, to thank me for the business, um, said they would send me a, a really lovely young horse and I ended up with him as a two-year-old. He was meant to be a backed gelding. I ended up with a two-year-old stallion. <laughs> that was completely wild. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I would have had him. Um, if that hadn't happened, and that gave me an amazing opportunity, I feel. Um, and as you can see, we've got quite a bond. Uh, we sort of grew up together, so there's nothing much we don't do together. Um, so my plan for him is to, long term, because I've got horses competing internationally, is to get him on that international list, probably within the next couple of years. He's not strong enough to do it yet. Um, so I, he will tell me when he's ready. Um, he needs another year probably going to the high profile shows. That's where he's got to get the percentages because now you've got to get sort of 70% at PSG and into one level to, for them to even consider you. So he's got a little way to go. So at the moment, I hope we do well at the nationals. Um, I'm sure he will uh, if I can keep him focused. And probably middle of this summer I might do my first PSG on him but it's all about him not putting too much pressure on those front legs so we can keep the quarter cracks happy if I can keep him off his forehand keep him correct and easy in his work then it won't be a problem um, I don't hammer my horses around anyway um, so
for me, that would be the worst thing to do with him and he would break. Um, he hacks out, um, he grazes in hand. As you can see, he's a very happy stallion. I've been touching all the other horses and I'm sure I smell of them, which is probably a bit mean, but we've never molly coddled him, treated him just like all the other horses um, and just respected the fact that he is a stallion. Um, I hope you find this blog interesting and I will try to show you some footage of him riding when I'm riding him and some competition footage as well. Thank you very much. See you soon.